There are a lot of potential causes of failed prints. In this video, we'll diagnose one of them by looking at the symptom, so stick around. I'm testing profile changes for finer detail prints with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. These prints are structural and require heavy infill at 40%. I am also using cubic infill because it is strong in all directions. And my retraction distance for these prints is set to 5mm due to the Bowden tube setup. When testing multiple prints with PETG at 0.12mm layer height, partway through the print the extruder started skipping and the rate of those skips increased as the print continued. We also see under extrusion as a result. After stopping the print and trying to pull the filament out there is a lot of resistance. This is the filament I pulled out and as you can see it's pretty much crushed. One trip through the extruder will not cause this much deformation, so it has to have passed through the extruder multiple times. Before we can conclude anything, let's run another test, this time removing the PTFE tubing to see the flattening occurring. This way we can remove the variable of the tube itself, the hot end, and the nozzle. Here's a sample taken which was jammed in the Bowden tube. The more skipping and jamming, the more deformed it became. And here's a sample with the tube removed and it is flattened a little bit, but not as badly deformed. The single gear also seems to kink the filament as well, causing a little bit of added pressure against the inner walls of the Bowden tube. The cause of under extrusion and skipping of the extruder in this case is caused by too many retractions and extrusions due to tiny cycles required during the printing of infill. Each time the extruder gear moves over that filament, it further flattens it and causes it to thin and widen until it can barely move through the Bowden tube. If we look at the settings to handle this issue, there aren't really too many to choose from. We can change the infill settings, but I'd like to stick with a spec of 40% here, and we can select connect infill lines, and this takes the end of each infill line and adds an extrusion cycle on the inside of the innermost wall to connect it to the next infill extrusion. And this will probably help but I think there's another option which will work better. The last setting we can adjust to correct the problem is to turn on combing mode. And once enabled, there's a setting that appears which directly impacts retractions for shorter travel moves. And I'll leave mine set to the default of 30 millimeters. So why does this only exist under the combing setting? Combing keeps travel moves contained within the islands of our parts, at least as much as possible. This allows retractions to be disabled and any ooze will occur within the part without impacting the final outer layers. If the setting were enabled on parts without combing turned on, there would be ooze deposited by travels on the outside of our parts. There are different options to choose from and I normally activate for all. It tends to give me the best results, but within the skin may also work in these situations. With these settings changed, we'll run the same parts and the same filament and compare the results. I stopped the print around the 20th layer line and as you can see the process worked there was no more skipping no more under extrusion here is a sample taken during infill extrusion with combing turned on and it slides freely through the tube there are other solutions to this problem a popular one is to replace the extruder with a dual gear each of the gears has a convex shape to fit around the filament both giving it better grip and also not allowing it to become flattened as you can see here and here's a sample during infill extrusion with combing turned off by the dual gear. It passes easily through the tube with no noticeable deformation. This one is the Bontec LGX, which has very large gears for even better contact area with the filament. Now, if you're having problems with your prints not finishing, consider activating the setting to see if it helps. And if you have any other tips like this, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you have a heads up on the release of any new videos. And take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.